I should, I think I should offer you some lemonade. But it would be hospitable. <laughs> it is so seldom that I have company other than my son. It, it, it was so very kind of you to introduce yourself to me at last. You and I have been living next door to one another for these six months since you moved in, and yet we have never spoken. It is strange. But well, I have an accent, and perhaps I'm a little embarrassed by it. But we are speaking now. I will answer your question and tell you how it is I came to New Orleans and why it is I live alone. My family members, they were farmers, but very educated. That is, not so much in school, but we had books. We read all the time. And I did not marry as well as my parents would have hoped. I fell in love with a man <laughs> who won my heart with his romantic nature. <laughs> we waited several years to have a baby. We wanted to have a big family. Then everything changed. Are you sure you want to hear this? I am old and I do not want to bore you. <coughs> Muy bien. My husband, Jean Toussaint, he was killed at 30. He was a victim of El Corte, the Corte. We were crossing the Rio Artibonito. We were trying to escape. I was born in the Dominican Republic, but my husband, he was Haitian by birth. And the president did not allow him to stay in my company. We were crossing the river at the borderline, and we were stopped by a soldiers. It was at night, and I had my baby with me. The soldiers asked my husband to pronounce the word pasqui, to prove that he was of the Dominican Republic. I already knew how because I had grown up there, but my husband, he couldn't pronounce it the way that they did. It's a funny word, parsley, perejil. They use that word to test us because those who could not pronounce the R using the tip of their tongue are C, R. <laughs> if they could not do that, they could not be of the Dominican Republic. You, you looking at me with, I could tell that you're looking at me with worryness. Well, you think that we were thieves? We were not. We were just trying to feed our family by farming on the little plots of land. I mean, in IT, we were starving. We felt we had the right to grow food in the Dominican Republic. After all, we had a baby to care for. There are those who say that no one kicks you until you bend over for them. We did not bend over for President Trujillo. He was a bully, a monster. He was a very wealthy man who was part Asian himself, and he did not care about the massacre of 20,000 people. I, I, I wish that another government would have stepped in. The President Roosevelt and the Haitian President Vincent, they are worried the victims and the survivors we pay me. But we only got pennies. Imagine a couple of pennies for losing my husband and the father of my baby? Uh oh. We're deserving much more than that. What do you think? I could see your face. 
You think that we should have never lived in the borderland, eh? And that we should have never crossed over. Let me ask you something. What would you have done in our shoes? Eh? You have a nice life here in New Orleans with no war on your own soil for over a century. We did not feel like we were in the wrong. They, they, they say the United States cared for the little people. And they had intervened before in the Dominican Republic. Why didn't they act now? 20,000 people dead and all over food and land. Shouldn't there be enough food to go around for everybody? Don't you agree? John Toussaint, his throat was slashed with a machete. I managed to escape and <coughs> cross the river, and eventually I came here to America on a boat, and I had a cousin who lived here, and she helped me to resettle. I never married again. I would have liked to, but I felt that I would have been disloyal to my husband. You know, he, he used to call me his ubel, that I was pretty. My name, Amarilis, means beautiful, brave, amazing. <laughs> I was not really pretty at all. I had a rough feature that made me look old before my time. <laughs> <coughs> but still, he called me his bell. He was a very loyal man. I still love my husband, Bongo Benny. And his son, <coughs> our son, we, he knows that his father cared for him as a baby. So he is very proud of him too. My son, he is 50 years old. Ooh la la. His name is Jean Valéry. Valéry means healthy. He is a gardener for a very rich man. He, he cuts it along, he, he, he plants the, the trees and the flowers, and sometimes he brings me cuttings from them. <laughs> he is very good to me. I am old, but I can still give my son the gift of fierte, pride. Haitian father. And when I feel sad, I remember that my husband used to call me his bell. <laughs> <laughs> and my son today, he calls me his bell mama. Oh, see. Oh, how about that lemonade? Can I get you some? Huh? Okay. 